Well, here's a brewery that is based locally and I think for somewhere up north as well. Um, one, of the, one of the northern states. Anyway, Magnanimous Brewing. I've had their Juice Lord and that was really good. That was a very nice beer. Um, that's They're actually pretty expensive for a local beer brewery. They're one of the most expensive ones. But good stuff, good stuff. This one is called their Untitled Art. A hazy quadruple IPA it says best by 329 I guess 25 so they're saying it's probably good for a year but it is pretty strong um, what was it? did I tell you the strength is 11.7% um, it says quadruple IPA with Citra, Mosaic, Azaka, and Centennial Hops brewed and packaged for Untitled Art, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, in collaboration with Magnanimous Brewing. So I guess, uh, I don't know, maybe this is the first one I've ever had from Untitled Art, or second one from Magnanimous, but um, looks like it was up, brewed up there in Wisconsin. Anyway, this evening definitely calls for a quadruple just been to the dentist. Oh. My jaws are hurting. Yes, I need something to ease the pain. Ease his pain. What was that in? Field of Dreams? Looking nice so far. Looks like a light orange or a dark yellow. Good looking beer. Nice. It's going to be a good one, but uh, let's have a little sip and then maybe we'll leave it for a bit, let it air, let it escape the can. It smells nice and citrusy, fruity in a good way, remember? Not a in a hoppy way, not in a, not in a mammy pammy way. Very nice. It does not taste like it's 11.7%. Alcohol is very well hidden, it's smooth. It's not very heavy. It's so smooth, very easy to drink. Very low on the bitterness. But we'll leave it a little bit, see what happens. Uh, see if it breathes a bit, see if the taste changes a little bit. I'll be back to you in a second. It's been a little while. Hmm, yeah, smells more intense. Kind of maybe melony. Melon and grapes, I don't know. Yeah, flavor's more intense too. It's like now I can taste the alcohol more. It's sharper. It's weird. Weird how this chain seems to be sharper, a bit more bitter, you know, heavier beer than it was before. But still a very nice drinkable beer. And for 11.7, as I said, it's pretty easy to drink for 11.7. Some of those triples, or well, quadruple, this one says. Um, I don't know if I've ever had a quadruple. Look at that lovely lacing down the uh, glass. Anyway, I just had another sniff. It smells a bit more pineapple now to me. And the more I drink it, the stronger it seems to taste. This beer is getting like 
well, I don't want to taste too strong. Uh, too much alcohol wouldn't be so good, but this beer is changing every time I sip it or drink it. It's, it's, a, it's a strange one, but enjoyable. By the way, for those of you who made it this far in a video, I do have playlists. So I have playlists for three, four, and five star beers, lagers, uh, pay, uh, hazies, um, double IPAs, triples, different things like that. Um, so I don't know if I got one for quadruple, so I guess I have to make a quadruple section. This can be in there, but um, pretty nice. I would definitely drink this again. I don't know what I pay for it. I can't find my receipt, but I'll try and find it and put it in the um, in the comment section. I think it was something like eight bucks. Um, definitely worth it for that much alcohol. You only need one of these per evening, don't you? One beer, you know, you can get two weaker beers, drink them. It's gonna cost you about the same as one stronger beer. And this isn't a guzzling one either. This one you can sort of sip on for a while. So yeah, good job, Untitled Art and Magnanimous.